In this video, we will discuss how to read equilibrium graphs. Now an equilibrium graph is going to look something like this, and what we can get out of this graph is we can get the overall balanced reaction, which balancing a reaction is not difficult, but it is when we don't know what elements we have. For example, when we have A, B, and C. and also from this graph, we will be able to get the equilibrium uh, constant K, and we will be able to determine if the reaction is product favored or reactant favored. So the first thing I want to talk about is getting the balanced reaction. Um, I know A has to be a reactant because it decreases over time. Okay, so I can say, a is going to form B and C. I do not know the coefficients just yet. What I do know, though, is that B increases a certain amount, and maybe it goes from about 0.2 to 0.33, so it increases by 1.3, or 0.13, excuse me. And then C also increases by that same amount, about 0.13. So we could say that their coefficients are the same, and let's just make it 1. Now, if I look at A, A decreases, and it starts at 0.4 and goes down to about maybe 0.15. And so that is about double the amount of change, and so A would be 2. My equilibrium expression then is going to be K is equal to the concentration of B, concentration of C, both to the first power, but we don't have to write those ones, divided by the concentration of A squared. Okay, just products divided by reactants. And then to get my estimated equilibrium value, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to estimate some numbers. So I'll say C is about maybe 0.13 molar. A is about 0.15 molar, and this is just an estimation. And that's squared for A. And then B is about 0 0.33 molar. So that would be maybe 0 0.33 molar. And then when I math that out, I get 1.91. And what that means is that this must be product favored. And the reasoning why is because K is greater than 1. Okay. Some people will say, oh, K is positive, so it must be product favored. But remember, we plugged in molarities here, and molarities are always positive, so K always has to be positive. Okay. This is just saying that our numerator was larger than our denominator, so uh, our numerator is consisted of products, so it must be product favored.